honestly, that's probably enough. But I did say I would do both, so let's do it. Mama didn't raise a chicken. Mama did raise a chicken. Mama didn't raise. Mommy. Mom. Mm. Mom did raise. I'm chicken. I'm scared. Welcome. <laughs> For those of you who missed the Ayato stream, today is finally time for us to try our cursed boba recipe that Chat came up with, as well as the ramen recipe. It is also my birthday celebration, so we will be reading through a card that my mods put together, I believe. We'll do it in between, so I'll do the boba, and then the card, and then the ramen, and I think it will be fun. This first recipe is going to be the so-called milk tea. So one disclaimer, I went and I tried to find lychee jelly at my favorite Chinese supermarket, but I don't think they had it. I think the next one over probably did but i didn't have time to go look so we are substituting the lychee jelly with like actual boba i apologize if anyone was really looking forward to lychee jelly in particular but i figured the spirit of it was just to have a topping so we're doing a substitution there and for the recipe since it's basically like a cocktail i might add in a fun little addition which is that yesterday when i went shopping i found this isn't that beautiful look how pretty that is I just like saw this on the shelf and I was like, what the heck is that? And I looked it up and it's like, a, it's a ginger liqueur and I'm a big bitch for ginger. <laughs> so in addition to fresh ginger, I will also be adding ginger liqueur. So I have all of our liquors here. The liquors that y'all chose, there was a whiskey. This is the ginger liqueur that we just talked about. This is con Contro. Contro is how Americans say it. The French name is probably pronounced something much more difficult like or something like that. I can't do French. It's a substitute for triple sec. It's basically the same thing. It's an orange liqueur. And then this is a massive bottle of vodka that my mom gave me. <laughs> when I first moved in to this condo, my mom brought two things with her and they were the first things she put in my pantry. The first thing was um, a big bucket of rice because there's like a Chinese superstition that like the first thing that enters your new house has to be rice. So she was like very careful. She like took this rice container out and like shoved it through the door first before her own body followed it when we were moving in. And then the second thing was this bottle of vodka. I, I don't know why she felt like I would need such a large bottle of vodka, but <laughs> this whole time I've been here, it's just been about a year now, I have not really used it. There's like a little bit off the top, but I'm pretty sure my mom drank that. Like I'm pretty sure it wasn't a brand new bottle. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so first we got to start with the jasmine teas. I got this jasmine tea because I have really fancy jasmine tea and I don't really want to, I don't like using fancy teas for milk teas because I feel like it's kind of a waste because you can't taste all the nuances of the tea when it gets drowned in all the other flavors. So I got a, I went to the supermarket and got like a cheaper loose leaf and we'll just let this like boil for a bit. The strategy here is I feel like the tea has to be very, very, very strong because we're putting so many other things into it. In order for it to not overwhelm the tea taste, I think the tea itself has to be very, very, very strong. Where usually I would just let it steep in hot water. This time I'm gonna let it boil. I think we should make it ultra strong. I think I'll go for like four teaspoonfuls and then just let it simmer like forever. I'm gonna be caffeinated out of my mind. It's gonna be so good. Oh my God, look. Oh! water in it, just a, a non-discriminate, just some random amount of water, it'll be fine. Don't think too hard, just party. That's how you live your best life. Okay, so for the 200% sweet, instead of using simple syrup, we'll use honey. And then let's start mixing all of the alcohols together. Is that like a valid way to do things? I don't know, I'm not, I don't do cocktails. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what, what implement do I even, should I like, uh, 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 ah! everything is okay. We're fine. I uh, knocked over some teacups, but it's fine. <laughs> the kitchen twirl, many home cooks know that exact vibe. <laughs> exactly. Every time I'm in the kitchen, I have to do at least three twirls. What was I doing again? Where did I put my spatula? What, what is my, where's my knife? Where'd my knife go? <laughs> It just happened. It is, it is the way. That was a very satisfying pop. <laughs> so whiskey in first. I don't like American whiskey, but Scotch whiskey, I can get behind. I guess it's my cut next. That's two shots, really? 
This seems like a lot, guys. Oh, it looks like pee. Don't think about that. Don't think about that. Don't. Why did I say that out loud? Why did I say that? Why? Why did I ever? Why did I think? I'm not even drunk yet. Like, why am I already saying things I'm not supposed to? How did this happen so fast? How did everything happen so fast? How did my birthday pass? How am I an old fogey now? Don't think about it. Don't think about it, guys. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. All right, here's our third alcohol. So if anyone hasn't tried like triple sec or orange liqueur before, it's a very sweet drink. Wait, also, I wanted to show you guys something before I pour. Angers France. <laughs> this angers France. I'm sorry, that's like way funnier than it should be, but I just think it's hilarious. The reason I've started to use this instead of triple sec is because it angers France. I don't even know, is it a place? I'm obviously pronouncing it wrong, but like, is it like a location? So that was the three alcohols that y'all had designated in the recipe originally. And then this is the ginger liqueur that I said I wanted to add. In my understanding, these are usually quite light. Oh, I lied. It's not light. That's 28% alcohol. Wait, what's this? 40% alcohol. Why? How is it so strong when I... Maybe it's because it's sweet, so you can't tell. This is the unholy tincture of the gods. Can't wait to have this mixed in with all the other tea and ice cream and ginger nonsense, but we're gonna take a sip of this just as it is. Let me stir it up. Kind of tasty. I think the whiskey and vodka are kind of ruining it. Like, I think if it was like gin or tequila, maybe, this might have tasted a lot better. But I'm just like a whiskey and vodka hater, so. That's fine. Uh, now we know what the unholy combination tastes like. <laughs> but I think the ginger and orange liqueur improved the taste a lot because they're so sweet. And also I feel like citrusy things and gingery things go well together. So there was like a, a good blend in there. I think we might've made a pretty good cocktail, y'all. I, I know you were trying to be like cursed or whatever, but I think you may have accidentally like invented a nice drink. All right, frick, I have to cook the boba. That's the only saucepan I own. What do I cook the boba in? Well, I guess it doesn't get to somewhere. I'll take it out and it'll steep somewhere instead. Okay, all right, let me get a teapot, I guess. So we'll just let that boy steep for a little bit off on the side here. And then I'm gonna use this to make the boba. Rinse it out. All right, so for boba, I usually use, I've rehomed it in a cashews jar. Yeah, we're actually, uh, instead of boba, we're having cashews as a topping. But these are the, uh, they're like the five minute cook type that you can get in the, in like Chinese grocery stores. And if you don't have a Chinese grocery store, you can actually get it online pretty easily as well. We'll just put it here for now because the water needs to boil first. And then I think other than that, right, it's just ice cream, ice cream, ginger, and the syrups. So let's like, let's get some ginger, like, maybe blended. You know these magic bullet things? I have one, I almost never use it. Maybe if I like magic bullet it, and I'll mute before I do that because I know it's freaking loud. And then we'll just like blend it out and then maybe try to strain the juices out or something. For those of you who haven't seen my ginger trick before, just use a little metal spoon with a like decently, just any kind of an edge really. This is a little bit sharper, so it's easier. But this is my favorite way to peel ginger. I just think it's so much easier than using like a peeler or a knife. All right, there we go. I will mute before I do this. I'm gonna mute, I'm gonna mute y'all. chat making blender noises for me because I muted the actual blender so y'all are like simulating is that what this is that's freaking cute <laughs> amazing dubbing from chat <laughs> let's see how much juice I can press out of this okay that looks pretty dry I think we've really milked this this bro out that was a solid amount of ginger y'all look at that that's a lot of juice not bad. All right, I guess we just wait for the boba now. It's, it's almost done. The boba also needs to sit for a while. So I guess in the meantime, I'll clean up. I think we're good. I think I'm doing great. I think I'm doing a good job. Remember to always give yourself positive affirmation. We're doing great, guys. It's a good day. The boba's had long enough. Kind of blows up a little in the hot water. And then I usually just use a colander and like strain it out. Get some honey in here. Whee! And then you just combine. Yo, look at this. The way it shines in the light is absolutely magnificent. Isn't that satisfying? We can have some boba ASMR. Oh, I dropped one. The trick with these five minute cook boba types, in my experience, you really have to let it, whether you're using sugar or honey, you have to really let it sit in the sweet solution for like a good 10, even 20 minutes sometimes. So I think while we wait for this, let's go ahead and, and open the card up. How do y'all feel? I think we should do that. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. You guys scare me. Oh, the, okay, at the very top left, we have Ruxing's Ying Day drawing. <laughs> Always very quality. Thank you, Ruxing, for your art. <laughs> so I was talking yesterday on Twitter with, with people about like, 
like what are the major lessons you've learned in your time as a content creator? And one of the tips that someone left was like, oh, you should like save and screenshot all of the all of your favorite messages that you've gotten from people that like spark joy and make you feel happy. Because when when you are feeling down or when someone leaves a really nasty comment, like you can pull up these nicer comments that like remind you why you do this and like not lose faith in everything, right? So I feel like this kudo board, I'm gonna like print out and like frame. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my bedroom wall or on my ceiling. I'll, I'll wallpaper it on the ceiling above my uh, bed. <laughs> Every day I wake up and I'll, I'll see Rushing's little MS paint drying. <laughs> feel a little better. <laughs> From Meow. Ying very smelly, I love they lot. <laughs> Meow wrote me a really sweet card, I think for Christmas that made me cry a lot. I think it was literally just a Final Fantasy quote. Get yourself a friend who can do both. Make you cry with their handwritten watercolor card and then also come on your kudo board and be like, Ying very smelly, I love they lot. <laughs> From Vera, one of my oldest friends. Ying, 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 ying. I have no way to truly express the depth of what, uh, I know that reading Vera's is gonna make me cry, so I need to stabilize a little bit. Just thinking about Vera makes me cry some days. <sighs> okay, I have no way to truly express the depth of what knowing you means to me and how inspired I am every year by the sheer power of what you continue to create and release into the world. Through your vision and mind and principles and force of will and work, I wish you a beautiful birthday to commemorate another year of a beautiful life and onwards to many more ahead. Many hearts. <laughs> Love Vera, what a good bean. Truly one of the most brilliant souls I have ever had the pleasure of getting to know. From Sash, of course the fish is from Sash. Happy birthday, Ying. I can't believe you're turning age. <laughs> Hold on, what age am I turning? Let's find out. Age. I'm 121, I'm, 100, I'm turning 121. I can't believe you're turning 121. Thank you for teaching me and your community so much this past year and sharing so much of yourself with us. I treasure all the nuggets of wisdom you lovingly, gently pelt at us. Thank you, Sash. Sash is such a sweet bean. I love the fish too. I love the fish too. Pelted wisdom. <laughs> That's what it is, I shove it down your guys' throats. <laughs> oh, I knew this was probe. Pro. Is that his, is that his? It's Brov's poet name. His Chinese poet name is Pulo. Oh, that's a, that's freaking adorable. <laughs> Ying Ti Niao Zhuan Si Yue Tian means that Ying is singing and the birds are chirping in April. Sheng Sheng Yu Lian Yi Xian Qian means the beautiful voice is connected through a wire, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Ying wakes up in Monsta and the god of winds whispers. This is why I was saying I got called out. <laughs> and then <laughs> she spurs the horse to full speed for a sleep with Xiao. <laughs> and then <laughs> the joy is shared with everyone in chat. Ah, uh, wait, try reading the first characters of each line. You'll get a ah. Is it Shen Ru Oh my god, it is! It's Ying Sheng Ri Kuai Le. He's so cute. Probe, that's so sweet! Ah, oh, I'm trying to keep the tears in my eyes. If they don't fall out, it doesn't count as crying. <laughs> oh, suck it in. Suck the tears back in. I'm good. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. They're overflowing. Uh, I'm gonna. If I open my eyes really big, they won't fall out. I think that's a trick, right? Maybe if I tilt my head back so they go back in the tear duct. That's so cute. And it's a little bit of a pun because like instead of sheng like the usual like like birth word, it's sheng as in like the the, the sound, <laughs> the word for sound. All right, is this a video? Hey Ying, Renee here. How's it going? Time sure does fly with the flock, right? Hope you've been well. And hope you're enjoying this scooter board that everyone put together. Let me uh, be nostalgic for a bit. Remember when I came to your stream, you were using a chibi model, and then you belted out the karaoke set list. I gotta admit, I was blown away from your lovely personality and how talented you are. And who would have thought that we would be good friends? Aside from the stream and Liking a tweet about air gear. Who would have thought? <laughs> and next thing you know, we talked about things and DMs. And I find you such an amazing, lovely person that is adored by many. So I don't have much to offer, but I hope you enjoy <laughs> this little thing that I prepared. Let me just... Uh, what? <clears throat> warm my vocal cords. Huh? Enjoy. A one, two, seven, nine. Blackbird. Blackbird. No. Take 
these broken wings and learn to fly. No, I can't. No. This is not the fair. <laughs> you were only waiting for this moment to arise. Not Blackbird. That's a personal attack. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday, Ying. From all of us. How dare you, Renee? You I'll fight you. <laughs> I have to re reestablish my masculinity. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of eye sway. <laughs> that's freaking cute. Oh my god. What the heck? Ah, oh, okay. I asked Renee to cover Blackbird with me actually together because um, I really like her guitar playing. And Blackbird is such a guitar centric song. And also, it's just it's perfect for for Ying lore. So I've always wanted to to cover Blackbird together with Renee, and it's very sweet to get to hear. Ah, oh, I don't have tissues out here. I only have paper towels. Oh, that's what the manly men do, right? Oh my god. I'll use my hands. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. I appreciate it. That's very sweet of you. Let's take a quick break and assemble the drink and keep reading. I think that'll be fun. Reading you all the recipe again with the substitutions and the additions, actually, because we have both. Jasmine tea, 200% sweet with whiskey, vodka, and triple sec with some ginger juice. And instead of lychee jelly, we're doing boba and then topped off with vanilla ice cream. So that's the recipe. It's a little chaotic, but also kind of sounds like it would taste good, right? So let's find out. I'm just gonna put in the alcohol first. So this is the tea. The alcohol goes in. Oh God, that's a lot. That was a lot of liquor. That was a lot of liquor. Ginger juice goes in. Ooh, a little cloudy in there. And then the boba. And the syrup is going in as well. That's part of the 200% sweet. But between the ice cream and the syrup and the liquors, I think this will be a very sweet drink. This is what it looks like now. It's still missing the ice cream. And I think that's about it. I think everything else we actually got. Wait, we should taste it before the ice cream goes in, right? Like what does it taste like without the cream? We'll see, let's see. No. No, 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 that just tastes like alcohol. <laughs> you can't taste the tea at all. <laughs> it just tasted like watery spirits because you couldn't taste the tea at all. Oh my God, you. All right, here we go. In it goes. Uh, is that good? It's actually incorporating quite well. Like it looks super creamy and nice now. I'm excited. Let's give it a little shaka shaka. Shaka 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 shaka. Moment of truth. vodka ruining it. I think if it were just the other alcohols in it, but like the vodka makes it taste like cough syrup. There's like a little bit of a cough syrup energy in here. But other than that, it's actually really good. It's just that the vodka like cough syrup energy hit me first. And I was like, huh? I had a moment and now I'm digesting literally both in my brain and my belly. <laughs> I think we should remove the vodka and then name this cocktail. All right, we have our drink. Let us return to my public shaming. We're doing an uwu with him as I weed Sinclair's. Oh, Sinclair's gonna love this. <laughs> Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day full of sexy 2D men and booba and all that good stuff. Please take care of yourself and be sure to rest from time to time and drink lots of water. Stay super idol style. <laughs> Sinclair. Sinclair did some of our emotes, guys. I love them a lot. Sinclair is a good bean. <gasps> Severus! Happy birthday, Ying. Hope you have the best day and this year is full of blessings and nothing but amazing things. Thank you so much for always being so incredibly supportive and such a great human being. I'm so happy that I found you in this amazing community. I'm so glad that I can now help you grow even more with my chaotic edits. It's true. Severus is the a huge reason my channel has any content on it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to take care of yourself and that taking breaks is absolutely valid. You're truly an inspiration. Stay hydrated and as we Brazilians say, for we and never shall we all. <laughs> Thank you, Severus. Also open me. Oh, <gasps> did Severus edit a compilation? This is titled the best of Ying one year compilation clown show version. <laughs> Fuck him. Literally. No, 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 no. They make his hands like being publicly roasted. <laughs> I'm a stroke <laughs> Yes, bitch, yes! Look at your ZR! Look at that! Look! You know who else is really look, good this ZR? This is ZR queen team! Rin Taicho. Oh my fucking god! Oh my Rin Taicho has really good god. ZR games. 
Mm. You guys should mm. go follow her mm. Twitter where she posts I, we're eating photos well tonight. and her Instagram. <laughs> Shit, Rima's still in here. You <laughs> the animation with the... Uh... I feel like I just got publicly roasted. <laughs> but like in a really fun way. <laughs> All right, we have Rin. Happy birthday, Ying. I hope you have a nice and relaxing birthday with your loved ones. If things get too overwhelming for you, I'm always available to chat and chill. That one line's gonna make me cry. What the heck? Give me a moment. If I just like tilt my head, do you think the do you think the tears will like dribble back into the tear ducts if I if I use gravity to help me up? <laughs> Thank you, Rin, for your friendship. Always, I appreciate you a lot. You already know that. I've said it many times. I'm very excited to have so many years still ahead of us for our friendship. Is this three? I bet it's three. Oh, that's three, all right. <laughs> Only three uses this emo. <laughs> As of this, writing the bot you said you were returning 152, which makes a bit redundant, I guess so. <laughs> Okay, So to translate for those of you who don't speak Chinese, there he said, um, wishing you a happy birthday, and then the Changming Bai Sui means like I hope you'll live to like hundred, basically, is what the Chinese like wish there is. But he was like the bot just said you're turning 152, so it's a little redundant to be like, I hope you live to hundred. So instead it's um I hope you're happy every day and all of your like dreams come true. It's very cute. Thank you, three. Wait, Christian? <laughs> The way the Christian one is just like, hat burf. <laughs> That's very cute of you, Christian. <laughs> thank you. Whoever sent this to Christian, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to come back down here and then we'll revisit this after the ramen bowl. Chat's ramen bowl. Milk, egg, craft cheese, spam, green onions, butter, and chili oil. It was actually deep fried butter, but I do not have the setup necessary to deep fry butter. That stuff is really crazy. You need like batter and like an actual deep fryer. I, I don't, I can't, <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're just doing normal butter. My go-to favorite ramen is neoguri. I really like this ramen. It's my go-to also when I wanna make mayo ramen and mayo ramen is like my comfort food. It sounds incredibly cursed. I don't think it's as cursed as people think it is. I think when chat was voting for this recipe, everyone was like, hey, 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 this is gonna be so cursed. And then I looked at the recipe and I was like, it's just a milk ramen with cheese. Like <laughs> that actually tastes, it sounds like it's gonna taste Great, I'm really excited to eat it. So we have our green onions, we got our cheese and our butter. What else was there? Chili oil? I have logama, but I feel like it's not really chili oil, you know? So I got the, the become key one. Milk is separate, uh, the egg will come out as well, and then the spam we should definitely get ready. I like to cook the spam like on like a little frying pan because I feel like you get the like those crispy edges, you know? It's tasty. Wah! Okay, you guys wanna see something cool? At work, because it was Earth Day, they gave us these like beeswax wraps. So it's, it's how you can avoid using uh, saran wrap. So instead of like saran wrapping this or putting it in a Ziploc bag, I can just like use this wax wrap and it like sticks to itself. So I can just like, when you fold it in like this, now it's like a, a nice little sealed thing. The beeswax wrap is a game changer. Yeah, and it's reusable, so you don't have to use saran wrap or plastic. It does smell very strongly of beeswax, but it's a very like nice smell. So I enjoy it. There you go. Look at that sizzle. Listen to that. Mmm. Mmm. This stuff. Okay, so once the water boils, this is gonna go in. And it's just a really quick boil in the water, like a minute and a half, and then you change it out, dump all the water out, drain the noodles, take the noodles out, put milk in the pot, bring the milk to a boil with the seasoning packets in it, and then put the noodles back in. And then at that point, I think is when the eggy goes in as well. So it's like very undercooked right now. You can kind of see. It's like stiff looking still. And then we're gonna do the milk. Just eyeball it. I think that's good. It's gonna get like cheesy and thick. Oh, and I think also the seasoning packet comes in at this point. Bring it to a boil. Whoa, the milk is boiling. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put the nudes back in. Yo, it smells really good actually. There's like a creaminess, I, it smells like a pasta, like a creamy pasta. So I'm gonna make a little well in the middle. How do you do that with ramen? That feels like a lie. That doesn't seem possible. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the egg in. The eggy go in, the eggy stay put. I'm gonna sprinkle some of the green onions over the top. That's going back on the stove. You don't put the cheese in, so I'm gonna put the cheese on top and the butter as well, kind of like stacked like that. I'll probably put two slices of, is that too much? Nah, just do it, follow your dreams. It boiled over guys. There's like some sauce on the stove. I smell burning, but I'm pretty sure that is not this. I hope it's not this. Oh, look at that yolk. Yes, that's what I like to see. I'm tasty. Okay, craft cheese number one, butter number one. Honestly, that's probably enough. But I did say I would do both, so let's do it. Mama didn't raise a chicken. Mama did raise a chicken. Mama didn't raise. Mommy, mom, mm, mom did raise. I'm chicken. I'm scared. I'm breaking it up. <laughs> Put it like into the edges. I feel like it'll mix better this way at least. Otherwise, I don't know if it's hot enough right now. I'm scared. This is definitely too much cheese and butter. Oh God. Oh Lord. Oh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Well, yeah. Let's let's put the spam around the edge. Plating expert. Look at me go. 
That looks like someone's Genshin specialty. <laughs> hey Ying, what, if you were a Genshin character, what would your cooking specialty be? Uh, cheese, butter, and spam ramen. <laughs> That's my specialty. Damn, that actually turned out pretty good. I feel like, okay, I think this is the fun part. I think the fun part is the tasting and like mixing it all up. Don't forget the chili oil. <gasps> You're right, the chili oil. Oh my God, good reminder. Yeah, I think that's good. Everything's like melted really nicely together, actually. All right, bow and apple teeth. Blend it all together. Oh, I think I let it sit for too long. I think the noodles sucked up a lot of the milk. They're like dry noodles now. Holy crap. Can you hear? Hold on, let me mute the BGM so you can hear how like thick and creamy this, this is. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's so squished. Oh, it's so thick. Oh my God. That is unironically delicious. That's really freaking tasty. Oh my God. It's like definitely very rich. Like I think I'll probably have a stomach ache after this, but it's freaking tasty. I'm putting more green onions on this. Oh my God. I was way too ambitious with this. I put in double the cheese, double the butter and double the spam that I should have. It's just so saucy. Oh, that is thick. It's getting thicker. Every moment that I let it cool and absorb more of the sauce, it gets thicker. Okay, this is the last bite guys. A big boy, big boy bite. Oh God, I lost some noodles. I truly have lost my noodles. Ah. <laughs> I saw how green onion and I had to eat it. I feel like my first bite was really like, that's delicious. And my second bite was like, this is pretty good. And with every bite, it was like a diminishing returns curve. Not as good as the last one. A little bit more actively painful than the last bite. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on with my life now. And we're gonna go back to reading the rest of the birthday messages. Are we gonna watch the rest of the video from Severus? Yeah, let's finish reading and then watch the rest of that video. I think we should have time for it. Okay, here we go. Let's read this, this is the last one. Last minute kudo board, happy burb day. Ying, you try so hard in life and everything you do, as well as try your hardest at self care and the hard times that it makes me try just as hard and you encourage and support your community so much. Then in turn, it makes me want to encourage and support you as well. You bring so much joy, but at the same time, time the real not as joyous times as well in which both are so relatable and it is my absolute joy to be acquainted and get to know you love you ying you're the loveliest burp ever i'm gonna cry <laughs> i'm focusing really hard <laughs> thank you Susan, for the very sweet message and also for the the animated blobs and bird on top <laughs> all right and that was the last of our birthday kudo board so i think that means we should come here next <laughs> Severus Slay. <laughs> wow, the clips are credited too. We stand it, a legend that credits. Yeah! Stan Severus! Stan Severus! They wanna fuck Sans? <laughs> One last, they wanna fuck Sans at the end. You guys see why I love Severus's editing, right? It's just like impeccable comedic timing. Just impeccable. <laughs> just absolutely impeccable sense for like flow of energy and comedic energy. And it's just so good. Severus, that was so good. <laughs> I can't believe you did that in like a day. <laughs> I can't believe you took a whole day out of your life to put this together, actually. That's insane. It was your break day? You spent your break day doing this? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Severus, I will cry. I will fly to your house and cry on your head. <laughs> I will hold you and cry. <laughs> That is such a perfect ending to today's stream as well. I just promise you a little bit of a birthday speech, huh? For me, every year when my birthday comes around, it's kind of an ordeal. Like my birthday is not so much a thing to celebrate as it is like an ordeal that I have to get through. Like it's something I have to survive every year. I don't have a very healthy relationship with my birthday. I get really like existential crisis -y <laughs> during my birthday. And I also especially don't like to celebrate it like belated or early. Like if we're gonna celebrate my birthday, I want it done on the day and then I want the day over. You you know what I mean? And so I was really upset at first that I had to wait like two weeks. And I kind of am, I guess, still upset about it that I had to wait two weeks before we properly were able to celebrate it on stream. Actually, I don't, I guess I didn't really get to celebrate it this year. I had a fancy dinner. That was about it. What I would have preferred to do is like take time off and like relax and sleep, which I didn't really get to do because I was having a really busy time. And that's also why I had to delay it. But the reason I don't like to do it early or late is because it extends the birthday, right? Like I literally, I hide my birthday on Facebook. 
I've hid my birthday on Twitter even for a long time. Only recently have I started to be a little bit more open about it because I feel like it actually is, since I really enjoy celebrating my friends' birthdays, I felt like, okay, like it's a good chance to try and celebrate myself and like celebrate our community and celebrate all my friends and the network. You know, like it's a moment to enjoy and bask in the happiness of it, but it's not. <laughs> for years has not been fun for me. It's not something I enjoy. It brings up a lot of like just existential crises that I just, I don't like grappling with. But that kudo board was freaking cute. <laughs> That was a really good time. We've had a lot of good moments celebrating our community, not just like in chat, not just in the Discord, but also like my friends and my family and my like wider support network. We have celebrated those things. It doesn't have to be on my birthday, you know? And so I think because of that, I feel less pressure around the day now because we more actively celebrate each other on a more regular basis. And I wish I wish that were how it were normally. <laughs> I wish that's how it always was for everybody, was that we could just always be celebrating each other. It's nice to have a special day, but I think more importantly than that, I love that none of the messages I read today were a surprise <laughs> because it's stuff that you've all said to me like 10 times 20 times it's stuff that i've read again and again in, in christmas cards in messages in thank you messages in youtube comments in twitch chat on discord um i think that was the most amazing thing for me was that i was reading through all of it and i was like uh, able to accept so much of it because i was like it wasn't news <laughs> because we're so good at celebrating each other already. And I am so lucky to have been celebrated by so many of you so consistently all the time. Anyways, <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. I'm glad that this consistent joy and celebration has made it less pressure to make the birthday like a special thing, like a special event, a one-time thing, you know? That's another thing I hate about birthdays. It's like, oh, you have like this one chance a year. It has to be a good day. If you don't have a good day, like your birthday is messed up. It's ruined. Like you've missed it. You have to wait a whole year before you have your next good day. You know what I mean? There was, there was none, there, none of that pressure. I felt much more relaxed this year. I didn't even really prepare for stream properly. <laughs> It was just kind of like, here's another chance for us to uh, to have a, a good vibe stream just like any other, you know? Nothing particularly special about it, but I don't know. I think I think my relationship with my birthday is maybe evolving a little bit. <laughs> and that's thanks to you guys, so. Uh, that's it, uh, I'm good. <laughs> I promised y'all a speech. <laughs> I made it through, I survived it. Thank you all again for all of your very sweet messages on the kudo board. Thank you hugely to the mod team for organizing that and putting it together and like running a spreadsheet and inviting everyone to be part of it. And we're like remembering all the, cause I'm, I'm really crazy with the different, you know, parts of my life, etc. I'm just amazed that between everyone on the mod team that you were literally able to grab like everyone, like everyone I would have been very happy to see a birthday message from y'all like basically got all of them. Thank you very much for the outpouring of love. It really does hit right here. <laughs> And I hope you all, I, I love seeing you all express that to each other as well, not just to me, right? And I, I hope that I am continuing to express it back to you as well. That's the kind of healthy cycle that I would like to be part of. So thank you for that. But yes, it's a good one. Maybe one of the best birthdays I've ever had because <laughs> I've never enjoyed my birthday. <laughs> So thank you very much for the celebration, for allowing me the space to celebrate myself also because it's something I have to work on. Whew. As always, whether it is morning, afternoon, or evening, have a wonderful time of day. Thank you all for celebrating my birthday with me. Thank you all for celebrating each other. Thank you all for celebrating all of this that we've built together. And I am very excited to see you all next stream. Okay, have a good one. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-